Are you looking for a way to download multiple files by zipping them up and having them automatically download in your user's browser? Well, stick around. This video is going to show you how to do just that. So as we get started on our video here, we can see that our steps that lie before us are number one, um, the data source that you're going to use. Basically, think about your list of files, what those are, where those are in your app, and how you can get them into the plugin element. Number one, it could come from your database. You might be querying the database, go get a list of things, do a search for something. Number two, it could already be on the page uh, in some kind of custom state variable. And then it could also, which is what you'll see in this video, is this is going to come from a file uploader. So there's going to be multiple files on a file uploader. We'll use that and put it into the plugin. And so step number two is going to be downloading that plugin. And then step three, taking the workflow and, or adding the workflow and then taking the files and putting those into the zip workflow. Now there, I'm leaving here at the end an optional UI step where we'll discuss making the UI uh, user friendly so that your folks know who um, like what to expect uh, for larger files because it can take a moment for large files. So that being said, there really isn't much else to do for step number one. We'll we'll circle back to that when we get to part three and we add that list to the uh, workflow action. Uh, but so let's go ahead and start with step number two, and let's go and add a plugin. And I'll mention that I've gone and personally checked out all of the working zip file ones here. Uh, as of September 2024, and I'll just recommend this uh, basic one by Cube that looks uh, looks and functions, you know, like you would expect for a zip file. Okay, so now that's basically step two. Step three, let's go in here and we'll go and do a search for zip. And how did I know that? Just always remember your actions here. Whatever it says there, that's what's going to show up in the workflow. Um, okay, and so I am using a file uploader. You might be using something else from the database or a uh, custom state variable on the page, but I'm going to go ahead and just say this is going to be example files. Cool. Okay, uh, that's basically it. Let's go and wire this up with some files. And what we're going to see now is some images dropped in here, and then we'll go ahead and download files. Cool. So we saw there's like a little bit of a um, loading icon that happens there. I timed that out with basically how long it takes for this. And this brings us to our next point here for the optional UI. If it's a known file size, you're in luck. Like, so for example, if it's, you know, someone downloading, uh, you know, a set of 12 PDFs for the year of invoices or something like that, or whatever they happen to be doing. If it's a known file size, you can just time it out and it'll show you how I have that set up. So I just show it right away, the, the loading icon. This could be a progress bar as well. Check out the progress bar video on the channel if you're interested in building something like that. There's a great, uh, pretty quick tutorial about that. And then what I have here is just a pause that is timed out to how big the files are. So if you have files that are an unknown size or variable in size that you're going to need a little bit of a creative solution because um, if we let's go ahead and just take a look at how this would work so here we're going to upload uh, we got a 43 megabyte we have a pdf we have mp4s just showing off the multiple uh, file types so that folks who are using different ones out there know that there's get accepted too but let's go and let's take a look so we see this loading thing that's going for a second and a half and then it's kind of like the jeopardy music comes on and we hang out and wait for the 43 megabyte thing to be put up put into a folder zipped up uh whatever's kind of going on i it's it's happening on the front end server okay and there we saw it there but it's so it's happening client side but um we don't we don't have a too much info about that especially with this free plugin now i'll share that i i am aware of another plugin out there that is a paid plugin i have uh tried it out uh, got a subscription and ran it for this real-time progress updates and i'll show you uh right now what what they actually have available for that so i'm going to choose custom files here i'm going to drop these uh, larger ones in here Okay, and with those ones in there, just add this here. Let's see. Let's see how this. So what what what's going on in this plugin is that there's an element on the page, and that element has a percentage value uh, related to it. So we're going to hit download zip. 
and we're gonna hang out for a bit. And here is what is going on with this plugin. It gives you the percentage, the progress percentage, but only when it starts to download and when it, when it uh, finishes the download, which is actually a very quick process. There, we just saw it there. The positive thing about that is that here's what I would suggest if you are under this situation where you have variable file sizes, you just don't know. I would say do time it out so you can cover about 90% of stuff and then go ahead and just, you know, this plugin's worth it um, for just for this aspect. I mean, it's a nice user experience, especially if you're dealing with pretty large files. And what you want to do is you'll just time it out where, however, let's say that it's a full minute of time, right? And so you'll just add a progress bar that, you know, every every second it goes up by whatever, you know, one one uh, percent or no, I guess it wouldn't be that because it's 100 percent, whatever, time it out. Now, if you get lucky, what's going to happen is that if you this will it'll be at like 30 percent and somebody has smaller files and it'll just like rip through from zero to the end. So they'll be like, oh, it's taking a while, and then it just goes. So they get the better option, where the better case where it finishes early and the person's expectations, you know, people like that. Versus if they expect it to be short and it's long, then that's kind of where you're running into user experience issues that you uh, you want to avoid. I mean, at this point, like, right, like we've all used software so much that we want to make good software. That's the, that's the point of a lot of this... Uh, uh, theory and practice or practical practice here on the channel is that making good software is awesome for everyone uh, because it feels really good as a you know person crafting the experience and then also for the person using it. So that's basically it. That gets us through everything. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It would mean a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Also mean a lot. And uh, thanks for watching.